I think a lot of people think we've solved uh, the racial reconciliation issues as long as the white churches and the black, black churches don't hate each other. Mm-hmm. Or even if the white churches and the black churches occasionally come together and do things uh, with Rich. one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is not nope. uh, the, the way that we as Christians are built up in the body. The way that we have our consciences shaped is not just by receiving information uh, through the word of God being preached. It's by living life together as one body together and, and showcasing the kingdom of God as assigned to the principalities and powers yeah, in yeah, the yeah, heavenly yeah. places. The easiest thing in the New Testament would have been to say, let's plant Jewish Christian churches and Gentile Christian That's churches, right. mm-hmm. and let's just uh, just go uh, in that direction and keep them from getting together and killing mm-hmm. each other. But that's not what the apostles did, yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah. because it's a sign to the principalities and powers. And so what we have to have are churches that start, and you can't program this out, mm-hmm. you can't. but I think it has to start with congregations that say, first of all, why are we all white or mostly white? Mm-hmm. Why are we all black or mostly black? Why are we all Hispanic? And it, does this really represent the kingdom of God? And to first see that this is a problem, mm. and then to start saying, if our community looks one way and our church uh, doesn't, why is that the case? Mm-hmm. Which means sometimes I think asking people in your community, what, uh, well, why, what, what's going on with our church? Uh, I had a friend who was talking to a pastor in Alabama who was serving a white church in a predominantly African-American community. And the pastor said, I just don't know why we can't get black people to come to our church. And he's seated at a desk. Behind him is a Confederate flag (laughs) and a bust of Stonewall Jackson. He said, well, maybe that's a clue. Perhaps. Maybe. (laughs) We'll think about that. But I think think those are the sorts of just starting to say, do we have this problem? And how are we in a situation (laughs) where being together, we start shaping one another's consciences and... We start serving one. I mean, the big burden I have as a white man is that often white Christians assume, without even thinking about it, that normal Christianity is white Mm -hmm. and that we then minister to black people, Asian people and Hispanic people, and they're the ones receiving ministry. No, 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 no. If this is going to change, the way it's going to change is by white people being ministered to by those who are called in leadership, recognizing that most of the body of Christ in heaven and on earth isn't white, isn't American, it's never spoken English. That's, that's right. true. That's right. And so when we start to have that that sort of uh, awakening in our own hearts, I think that's where we're going to start to see some change. 